whatever is in our hearts, in our minds, we give it to you right now. Whatever is plaguing us, whatever is causing consternation, whatever is causing frustration, we bring it to you right now. Whatever is causing anxiety, Lord, worry, fear, dread, we bring it to you right now. Whatever is short-circuiting our sleep and our rest, our peace of mind, we bring it to you right now. Why? Because you're an able God. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, that you would take it. Father, you told us to cast our burden upon you in Psalms 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. So Lord, I'm praying for my church family, my congregation right now. Lord God, I'm praying for sustaining power. I'm praying for keeping power. I'm praying, Lord God, that they would keep their hands in your hands. That no matter how rocky it may get, no matter how tough it may get, no matter how, how, how violent or ferocious the devil may be on their tracks, I'm praying, Lord God, that you would keep them. Father, I'm praying the prayer that Nehemiah prayed on those walls when St. Ballad and Tobiah in Nehemiah 6 told him to come down. He prayed a prayer, Lord, strengthen my hands. I'm praying in the name of Jesus for my church family here that you would strengthen our resolve. We're getting tired. We're getting weak. Some of us want to quit. But Lord, strengthen our hands in the mighty hand of God. Let us realize, Lord Jesus, that faithful is he that hath called us, and he will do it. Let us realize, Lord God, that you would never call any one of us if you did not want to keep us. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep us, Lord. Keep us in your love. Keep us in your power. Keep our sanity. Keep us in your strength. Keep us in your might. Keep our families. Keep our marriages. Keep our church. Keep our leadership, Lord. Keep our minds stayed on you. Oh, Holy Spirit, my parting prayer is that you would empty out the Holy Spirit upon this awaiting crowd here today. That the Holy Spirit would break chains. That the Holy Spirit would break yokes. That the Holy Spirit would change attitudes. That the Holy Spirit would chase out demonic forces. That the Holy Spirit would chase out the garment of the spirit of sadness and lethargy and misery, Lord God. That the Spirit of God would change us. We pray that the Holy Spirit would be empty upon us today, that we would leave here, this would not be some ordinary church service, but Lord, that we would leave here and folk would look at us as they looked at the disciples in Acts chapter 4, verse 13, and said, these men have been with Jesus. We don't need more money, Lord God. And so, Lord God, work on our hearts, Holy Spirit, including minds. Unpack the luggage in us. Take out everything in us that's bottled up, Lord God, that's irrelevant. Because, Lord God, everything that we're thinking about right now is irrelevant because, Lord, you're the only one that's relevant. Put our minds not on things of this earth, but set our affections on things of let us not lose our salvation over foolishness, Lord. But Lord, strengthen our hands. I pray that the Spirit of God would smile on us this morning. I pray
pray that he would encircle us this morning. I pray, Lord God, that he would strengthen us this morning. And I thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. Not because we're worthy, but because Jesus is worthy. In the powerful and blessed name of Jesus, if you believe that he's able, shout amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. I want to leave you with these three words. You may be unable, spiritually, emotionally disabled, but these three words, beloved brothers and sisters, God is able. Person coming to you with a problem this week, say, listen, I, I, I appreciate you sharing the problem with me, but now let's share it with God. Because I just realized that God is able. Able, beloved brothers and sisters, has superb ability to do anything but thank God. Can we give God some praise in here? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I don't care what the devil is throwing at me or whatever else he's going to throw at me. God is a Bless the Lord. Amen. God bless you. That's my prayer. That's my prayer for you. My prayer for your family. God is Bless the Lord. Father, as I leave my church family here today, Lord God, love them. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless them. Place your hand upon them, the households, the family, the jobs, every aspect of their life. Favor, Lord God, according to your will. Every guest here today, Lord, favor them. Bless them. Empower them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. That's my prayer. God bless you. Amen. At this time, we will ask our clerk to come up. You don't have to get that.